Uh, very good morning. Um, got the running gear on again, um, and I'm, today I'm having a run slash walk down the, the Sheffield and, uh, and Tinsley Canal. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, it'd mean the world to me if you'd uh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload new videos. So we're starting off here at uh, Victoria Keys, and we're going to walk the four miles or so out to where the canal meets the uh, meets the River Don, just past Meadowall. So we're starting in the bottom left corner, uh, and we're following the canal all the way up to the uh, the top right of this uh, of this map. So it's a slightly longer video than uh, I usually do, so stick with me because we've got some uh, some Grade Two listed buildings and bridges, uh, as well as the usual canal things and canal locks. And we've also got some disused railway things and some stations and even an old good shed. So we're just going to have a look at Victoria Keys to begin with. Um, open in 1819, like the canal, and this is the terminus at the Sheffield end. We've got quite a few Grade Two listed buildings here, so uh, we'll just take a quick look around and I'll uh, I'll show you what they are. Just as we're leaving uh, Victoria Keys, we come, we come, we come across to these uh, bridge supports. Now, um, I only recently found this out by looking at a map, but there's a series of arches just the other side of the wharf, um, just the other side of Victoria Keys, um, where the kind of bars and restaurants and uh, whatnot are. I didn't realise that was actually an old goods yard station. So that was a park station goods yard, and these were the pillars for the, uh, the line that went into uh, that goods yard and that just fed off the, uh, the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway that we're just gonna go over, um, sorry, go under in a minute. So, and it wasn't the only goods station here actually, just literally where Park Square Roundabout is and the parkway comes down to that, there was uh, another station called uh, the City Goods Station. So I'll put some maps up just so you can see where those uh, those were. But I really wasn't aware of that till I started uh, looking at some old maps for this video this week. So here's an old map. I'm just gonna uh, highlight the, the location of the old Sheffield Victoria main station. So there we can see on this map, the park station just above the canal basin and the city station just below. And I've just highlighted there with that green circle, just where we're stood, where those pillars are. And that, uh, and that red line is where the, the archways are that we can uh, see on this photograph. You can see the, uh, the Royal Victoria Hotel. It was the old Sheffield Victoria Railway Station, just in the distance there. So we're just going under Derek Dooley Way. So that's the, that's the main road out of, uh, out of Sheffield. And the next bridge that we come to was the uh, the old Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway. It was also known as the Great Central Railway. And just uh, just uh, just about 100 yards up there, in fact, you can see the end of what used to be the Victoria Railway Station. So this is an extension of what's the uh, the Wicker Arches. So we, we saw these when we did the, the Fiery Jack video. 
there we go there's the chimney you, you pass that as you're driving out of Sheffield and I believe that was part of the old sheaf works now we're just coming up to um, Cadman Bridge now this is uh, one of the few listed bridges on the canal that we're gonna see see this on a, on a quite a few uh, bridges and things that we pass where the, the ropes from, uh, from the horse drawn barges um, have worn grooves in the bridges and the stonework. We're just going to go up onto the road and have a look at, uh, have a look at something up here. So that's Sepelia Works. And here's, uh, here's the bridge uh, that carries the Midland Railway over the canal. So if anybody uh, travels into Sheffield from uh, Doncaster or Leeds direction, you'll, uh, you'll come over this bridge. And it's actually called the Midland Railway Bridge. So we're already at bridge number four. And here's the view from the train over the top. So blink and you'll miss it. Got a bit excited this morning. I opened the curtains and uh, saw the blue sky. I wasn't going to come out and film this video till tomorrow, but I thought, seeing as it's it's sunny, um, I thought I might as well come out today. Of course, there are still a lot of these workshops and factories that are still open. There's a lot of people kind of sat. They've made um, kind of little seating areas outside of the front of their uh, kind of factories for people to come and uh, enjoy a break so it's really good to see a nice place in the sun so 1819 was when the canal arrived in Sheffield so just over 200 years old it's just celebrated its uh, bicentennial in 2019 so this stretch of canal the Sheffield and Tinsley Canal joins onto the, uh, the, the uh, River Don navigation um, just before we get to Rotherham and then that wood Sorry, got a bit of mud to navigate through. Um, that wood kind of joined up eventually into the River Trent, uh, into the North Sea, uh, and out to Europe, or, uh, or of course onto the rest of the canal network. So, as I was saying, the weather's a lot better today, but we have had a, quite a bit of rain over the, the last few weeks. And I'm, uh, I'm so glad that I put the trail shoes on today. It's, it's a bit muddy. Bit muddy in places the towpath so far so it's not really been all plain sailing for the canal for that time um, not too long after it um, was um, was built it fell into the uh, the ownership of the railways uh, and it, I think it kind of was passed around a bit between a couple of the railway companies on the, a couple of occasions uh, and obviously at the time the railways were the big competitor to the canals so I think it's fair to say um, like we saw with the Chesterfield Canal, once it did fall into the hands of the railways, the, uh, the investment and the, the kind of maintenance dried up a bit. But the canal kept going. Uh, 1970, I believe, the um, Victoria Keys um, finally closed, finally ceased. Uh, and it kind of lay dilapidated for about 20 years or so, until in the early 90s, uh, it was kind of rejuvenated. And they made a really good job of it and it's a really really pleasant place to have a walk around or have a drink or a cup of coffee and the cafes and bars and things now really nice place to sit on a nice warm day we've got our second um, listed bridge now that we're just going to pass under and this is bacon lane bridge so bridge number six so you can see on this one this is a bit more pronounced where the ropes have made them grooves in the stone
Now, does anybody recognize this section of canal? So this bit was made famous in the, in the 1990s film, The Full Monty. So we had Robert Carlyle and Mark Addy kind of perched on top of a car in the middle of the canal. So we're just coming up to the, the village of Attercliffe. There's plenty of fish in the canal. I keep seeing them uh, jump. So I'm not quite sure what type of fish would be in there. I'm no, no fish or fishing expert. If anybody knows, let me know. I did used to work just on the side of the canal, just on the left here, for uh, two or three years. I have to say I never ventured down to the canal. It was probably a, a time in my life, in my early 20s, where walking was the, uh, the least of my priorities. Yes, yeah, so I'd, I'd have walked over that footbridge a couple of hundred times to and from work, from the bus stop. So, so I, did the, I did the Chesterfield Canal a couple of weeks ago now and uh, the Chesterfield Canal is, is a lot narrower um, than this one. This, um, this accommodated much larger boats or keels as they were called as opposed to the, uh, the narrow boats that we saw on the, on the Chesterfield Canal. And we'll see that when we come up to the locks. Um, there's, there's quite a few locks on the, on the Tinsley flight that we're going to come up to in a mile or so. So here's the railway bridge just coming over now. This was uh, part of the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire railway line. It's just a, a freight only line now. Uh, but we're just gonna come up to our, uh, our the site of um, the first old train station that we've got along the canal. And this uh, this was Attercliffe station, not to be confused with Attercliffe Road. That was, uh, was a couple of miles just further back there. So we can see the site of the old station on this old map and we can also see the aqueduct as well. So the retaining wall that we can see there, that was uh, the railway was just the other side of that. And it has been modified now because we've got the super tram um, that's now joined the railway line. And I don't know if you can just see, there's an archway there on the other side, I'll zoom in. Um, that was the subway on the railway station. Now we can't really get any closer than that to have a look, unfortunately. So what we've got now is coming up is, uh, is Worksop Road Aqueduct. Otherwise, uh, I've seen it also referred to as the Darnell Aqueduct. So I'll just snip down these stairs and we'll have a look at the, uh, the aqueduct from underneath. So got the uh, the railway and then the super tram as well. Just going over next door. So you can still hear the super tram just off to uh, the left hand side. So um, we're just going past the site now of what used to be the old Don Valley Stadium before it was knocked down a few years ago.
And this is Brown Bailey Bridge. It's a very recent bridge, 1993. Pothouse Bridge, 1930. An interesting uh, combination of colours. deteriorated a bit I'm not too concerned about the mud but I have got to get back on the, on the super tram to go home later so a couple of cyclists just gone the other way we're having a bit of a rant about the state state of the path but it's to be expected so we've got Sheffield Arena just on the, just on the left hand side of the canal been closed for a while obviously but it is uh, it is Sheffield's main vaccination centre at the moment so it's got quite an important job so this is Broughton Lane um, bridge we're just about to go underneath but we have to switch to the other side of the canal now But I do just want to show you something before we do up onto the other um, onto the other side, and I, and I don't think we can see it now. But this pipeline's in the way. But we've got the old Broughton Lane railway station just down there. You can see some concrete bits left over. I can't really get any. I've not got my extendable arm for the GoPro today, unfortunately. So we can see the location of the old station on this map and if we look at this modern Google Maps overlay we can see Broughton Lane's actually moved just uh, to the east slightly um, but we can see the footbridge there that we're stuck on at the moment. So if you just see down there just through the trees where the old platforms used to be now I'm assuming those concrete things we can see were, uh, were part of the platform structure. It's purely a guess. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Let me know if anybody's um, familiar with uh, Broughton Lane, but anyway, let's crack on. Get back on the towpath. Really popular spot for fish fishing. Um, so we're just going underneath what's now the new Broughton Lane. So what we're looking at here is uh, the remains of an old, I think it was a swing bridge or a lift bridge by the looking at that over the other side. So this was a, this was a, a former railway line that went off uh, into, I, th I think it was um, in Collier at the other side there. I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to look up the name of that. So we're just approaching the first of the, of the Tinsley the Tinsley Locks, or as it's known, the Tinsley Flight. Like I was saying, look how much uh, wider these locks are compared to those on the Chesterfield Canal. And that's number four. You see, these are uh, these are numbered. These locks, so it's impossible to lose count. So uh, the canal's dropping really, really quickly. We've had uh, that's four locks in uh, in no time at all, really. So we just got just to give you some geographical context. We've just got the, uh, the 
call it the new IKEA, it's a few years old now, but the IKEA on the on the left hand side. So we're just coming into uh, the middle wall area. So what we're just passing now, I believe, is is the um, is the remains of the old lock number five. So lock number five, it was uh, completely demolished in um, one of the bombing raids in World War Two. Quite a bit of stone there. I thought we were going to get a demonstration there of how a canal, uh, a canal lock operated, but they were. Uh, I hung around for five minutes. They, they were just cleaning the weeds off the front of the uh, off the lock, so uh, I left them to it. So. Lock number six now. So you can see we're, we're really banging through the, the lock numbers. I think we're about halfway through the locks now. About a mile or so, no, not even a mile to go until we uh, until we reach the River Don. This is Carbrook Bridge. Now this is labelled as locks number seven and eight, and I know that there is a couple of the locks that were merged into one lock. Looks like this is that one. It's quite a big, quite a big drop there. Let's live a little and cross over the top of the lock. got a railway bridge crossing here I think this is the far bridge is still in use I think it's still as a, an access to where uh, what was the Tinsley goods shed so we're just approaching the site of the old Tinsley station but more interestingly, I've just put a circle around that uh, building there on the map. Um, just as I'm about to discover, this was the old Tinsley Station goods shed. I've just noticed this old building. So I thought I'd just uh, just come off the towpath and see if I could get closer. And there's a path leading right up to it. So this looks like an old, an old railway shed. Wow, still got the inspection pits in there. timbers in the roof. So this is lock nine. getting our first glimpses of a uh, Tinsley viaduct. So this on our uh, on our left hand side I believe is an old uh, old pump house used to pump water up from uh, from the river Don into the into the canal. See, there's a lot of this artwork along the canal which is quite nice it's purposely done but then you just kind of get the uh, the vandalism graffiti as well just sort of ruin that haven't they so here's where the five wheels uh, five wheels walk sort of branches off in that direction and we've uh, we've got the River Don joining us on our left hand side now. So we 
we've got the M1 motorway right on top of the bridge there. That thudding you can hear is actually it's the cars going over the joint on the bridge. Quite some feat of engineering that. And I believe this is uh, lock number 12. We've still got the drone of the M1. Oh, sorry, it's lock number 11. There we go. I said I'd have difficult keeping count. I can't even keep count when they're, uh, when they're numbered on signs. So I can see lock number 12 straight in front there. And there's the final lock. And we'll see just here. We'll see. Uh, we'll see the canal into the uh, into the main river, Don. So that's the end of our journey down the canal today. So I'm going to run back to uh, to Sheffield now. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, just seeing some of the things that are uh, of interest along the route of the canal. So as always, thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to subscribe, uh, and go and give our uh, Facebook page a like, because I, uh, I do post some uh, additional photos and such uh, on there. So thanks again, take care, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>